So, yesterday we have seen a very good example for uh, so assignment. Already assignment has been completed and everything has been gets over. So today we'd like to concentrate on unit number five. Unit number five is going to be get started for today. So look at this, uh, the unit is uh, combination of uh, three different types of chapters in our final, uh, uh, I mean, prescribed textbook. So three, so in our prescribed textbook, it is uh, three different types of units will be, uh, chapters will be combined together, will be uh, make as a single unit here. First one is the transaction concept, this is the first one. And the second one is uh, concurrency control, which is part and parcel of concurrency only. Sorry, uh, transaction only. And third one is how to store the data, the indexing technique and the store the data techniques in a database management system uh, using such kind of uh, B trees, B plus trees, and all other file inclusion techniques are indices, clusters, and everything. Okay, everything could be gets included. And the third one is uh, recovery techniques recovery techniques what are the recovery techniques we have so what about uh, those recovery techniques which are uh, available with us when any <coughs> transaction is gets failed if any transaction is gets failed how recovery will be gets happen so in terms of uh, performing some kind of transactions using database management systems okay these are the so actually three different chapters are supposed to be uh supposed to be combined and uh, uh, given as one unit in our uh, in our uh, so syllabus uh, let's get started with the transaction concept we'd like to take one introduction what is a kind of uh, transaction how a transaction is being uh, so uh, uh, declared as for theory as far as theory is concerned how the things will be taken into consideration and uh, followed by so what is the uh, specification of a transaction while it is being executed? What actually been happening when a transaction is being executed? Let's, uh, let's uh, discuss each and every point. Okay. So generally, as far as uh, the transaction on the concurrency control system, which will be taken a transaction. What do you mean by a transaction? A transaction is a logical unit of uh, so uh, database operations, database operations will be put together and uh, will be named uh, with, a, with, a, with a specific name, which is called as a transaction here. So which will perform, transaction is always trying to perform one specific operation, that operation is update. Most of the transactions are supposed to be done only updates. It is not supposed to, I mean, <coughs> Uh, other operations cannot be given to you, other uh, different kinds of operations of uh, TML, that is insertion, deletion, and the selection. Of course, selection is part and parcel of uh, transaction. So that is, uh, by default, we have to operate, uh, what is that, uh, uh, select operation, select operation in terms of uh, any transaction. But uh, these three different kinds of operations are uh, uh, commands, insert, delete, and update out of these three. So you are allowed, you are allowed to have only update operation. So meaning two operations cannot be updated, I mean allowed by you being as a user, end user of uh, so that particular database management system. So that what? So uh, always it is going to access the data and uh, if possible, the data will be gets updated. Data will be gets updated. So for doing such kind of updation and accessing whatever the set of uh, database operations, those set of database operations will be called as a transaction. Okay. Then uh, for example, we'll consider a small example here. So I wanted to transfer some amount of rupees, 500 rupees for, from, from uh, so account A to account B. Okay, rupees 500 could be transferred from A to so B. How the, uh, the, the set of operations could be took place here. So let us take uh, so transaction A, transaction A in the sense account A. So look at this in at account A, what are the operations you are supposed to do? You need to open that account. 
to open that account in the sense you need to access that particular account whether so called account is available existing or not you have to check it out after checking everything you just open the account and uh, I'd like to identify what is the world balance of uh, of uh, so called uh, so uh, account here so it's so called account having some kind of balance so that balance is going to transfer to a specific variable that is world balance okay after that uh, this world balance will be updated with i mean uh, detected 500 rupees from uh, old balance as uh, considered as a new balance after deduction so here we did uh, some update operation update in the sense either it is adding the amount or uh, decreasing the amount okay after this what we are supposed to do then uh, so actual accounts a balance will be uh, updated with the new balance previously it is for example 1000 rupees after deducting 500 it could be became so 500 rupees so now a balance will be equal to 500 then you have to close the close the account obviously you must close that particular account yes a deduction was happened this is one set of uh, so these are one set of operations one set of operations to deduct amount from the account a so what is actual operation here transfer 500 from account a to account b at account deduction is gets over deduction is gets over at the b account what we are supposed to do so we just open that one so whether b account is uh, existed or not we just check out that particular b after that uh, so take the b's balance from uh, b to account b to so old balance after taking this particular thing then you have to add amount the new balance equal to old balance plus 500 because here yeah, deposit was happened deposit in the sense obviously it must be add the balance so balance will be gets increased and the bf balance will be so retained with the new balance then you have to close so all these operations will be done at uh, at uh, account b so this will be these are the set of operations these operations will be so transaction at uh, transaction at the a at the a account and this is called as a transaction at the b account all these operations are legal operations and all these operations will be done in in, in sequential fashion okay so account A will be executed and followed by account B will be gets executed. Okay. So these are the specific operations which could be done. Then uh, these set of operations under at account A will be transaction A under at uh, account B. So will be called as a transaction B. Okay. Now, how could you write uh, a transaction in database management systems as far as theory is concerned? If you write anything using theory, so how could you write a transaction here? A transaction will be always write uh, written so with a particular uh, particular uh, word. That word is begin transaction. Begin transaction. So before going to take this particular uh, open account, word balance, new balance, or year balance, close account. Before going to all these, first of all, you have to start with begin account. Sorry, begin transaction. Then after close account, you have to end with end transaction. You must write in such a way. So it must be always starts with the begin transaction, and it must be ends with the end transaction. Then you could identify that is a complete transaction. Okay. <laughs> so all statements which have been written in between begin transaction and end transaction will be considered as. A single logical transaction so uh, in between begin and end transactions if you write a subset of uh, database legal statements so that those legal statements must be update the, the specific database item, database item okay as we say just to differ as we saw at account a so balance has been updated on deduction of uh, 500 and account b at account b so balance has been updated on addition of or uh, adding 500 to the so account B's uh, balance. So something like that. So that is uh, uh, everything will be written in between begin and end will be called as a single logical transaction. Then how this can be gets executed? Let us consider it is the yellow, uh, uh, blue line will be considered as time. 
For example, this is fine. Somewhere else, uh, transaction will be get started here. So this is the starting point. First, uh, first one is the starting point, and this is ending point. In between, the transaction is being executed. For example, so thereby, the begin transaction will be seems so at this particular place, and the end transaction will be at this particular place. In between these two, so if a transaction is being executed, then how this could be? Begin. I mean, database. Uh, is in a consistent state. You please remember this particular board. I would like to discuss this particular board after some time. So after some time, I would like to discuss this particular board. So the database will be gets uh, in, in consistent state, followed by the database will be after end transaction, the database will be again into consistent state. Again into consistent state. In between these two three lines, in between, if database will be so it will be executed so if a database will be get started with the begin uh, transaction and the database will be ends with the end transaction so consistent state will be gets maintained okay before begin the transaction database will be considered as a consistent state after complete execution of entire uh, transaction then uh, again a uh, second consistent state will be gets existing in between these two, in between begin transaction and end transaction, so if anything will be uh, any any uh, what do you call it? transaction can be terminated in between these two, obviously, so we could consider that the inconsistent state. We'd like to consider that inconsistent state. Okay. So what do you mean by a consistent state and the inconsistent state? Let me come across. Uh, so let me come across and let me explain you so by taking the previous example again by taking previous example again let me move back to previous example here so look at this this is transaction a and this is a transaction b so what do you mean by so what do you mean by consistent state and uh, inconsistent state so let us uh, take some example here then you could understand very clearly okay then you could understand very clearly here. so look at this for example, at account A, at account A, so the, the account A has some balance that is five thousand rupees balance is there at uh, account A, and at account B, some uh, three thousand rupees as balance at account B. So account A has been initiated, and this statement will be executed. Yes, account A has existed within the bank as it is open. And the old balance, old balance, so will be. I mean, account balance will be copied from uh, account balance to old balance variable, and identified a new balance, identified new balance, and uh, so account balance will be gets updated after updation. After updation, in the sense, let me explain. So, what could be the specific operation here? So if you want to know the consistent state, you need to know something about the client server machine structure. Client server machine structure in the sense, so look at this, this is uh, the server. And uh, let me consider some ABC bank server, here it is, ABC bank server. And account A has been available within this uh, ABC bank, account B also available with the ABC bank. And uh, this is one particular system, one uh, client system which is being uh, which is being accessing geographically somewhere else. And uh, this is another system which is being uh, accessed somewhere else. These are not at the uh, same place. These are uh, at the geographically somewhere else. Geographically, this one is there at Narsaraopet and second one is there at Kuntu. Okay, these two people are uh, so updating updating the account. At this particular point, so uh, this a dot balance, a dot balance will be so taken from this particular server. So this is actually a local machine, LM local machine. It is another local machine, not uh, so server here. These two are not executed at this uh, at the server. These two are two different local machines. So at this particular local machine, so the balance of a has been transferred. Let me take another color, then you could understand very clearly. So the balance of uh, this particular A, that which is 5,000, 
So 5,000 have been transferred from server to server to this local machine. Yes, transfer is gets over. At this place, he was defined old balance. Old balance will be equal to so 5,000. So he was uh, defined this variable. And the new balance will be equal to 5,000 minus 500. So 4,500 has been updated here. And uh, he was rewritten this uh, new balance to the local machines, local machines balance, something like uh, 4,500. 4,500. Does it 4,500 is uh, available with the server? No, it is not yet written. When it could be written? When it could be right onto the server when you have to operate close account. So, okay, close account will be taken furthermore, uh, so piece of instructions. Let me explain after some time. So, when we have to apply close account, so before going to close, this updation will be whatever the updation you have done here, this updation will be modified here, then account will be closed. So, suddenly before going to execute this particular statement, before going to execute this particular statement, suddenly power off. So power off, power has been gone. Then this statement cannot be executed. If this statement cannot be executed, before open the account, A does have 5,000 rupees as balance, that is a consistent state. After open the account, he, he did some kind of operation. So what is that operation actually? So that operation is world balance minus, I mean account balance minus 500. It has been done and available at local mission one, at the local mission one. If it could be written onto the server, then that could be the consistent state because uh, balance has been updated. Okay, so suddenly this particular statement is not executed. Power has gone up, our system has been crashed. Local mission has been crashed so that uh, the updated value cannot be cannot be so stored into restored into uh, so called abc server now at b so at b so this particular statement is uh, i mean whatever the statements we have written here everything is executed properly initially it is 3000 rupees so 3000 rupees has been copied i mean transferred from here to so here to this local machine and uh, here he was operated with the old balance as uh, 3000 rupees so it has been taken it has been taken a new balance will be will be equal to so plus 500 that is 3500 okay 3500 update operation was happened at a local machine and uh, this operation has been successfully completed let us consider this particular operation has been successfully completed to the server this value has been rewritten with the 3500. With the 3500. Look at this at B, everything is correct initially before going to operate this uh, uh, operate this particular uh, transaction. Actual amount must be so 3000 rupees. Yes, it could be it could be called as a consistent state. CS in the sense consistent state. After execution of all those statements after the execution of the whole transaction. So we are expected to have 3,500 rupees. Yes, it is also 3,500 rupees. It is also consistent state at uh, uh, B. Everything will be happened at B. So it is okay. But whereas if you take A, so before going to start the, uh, uh, start this, uh, what do you call, transaction, consistent state will be, so 5,000 rupees. 5,000 rupees is the consistent state. Yes, it is okay. So it has not been completed. It has not been. So several number of statements have been executed and suddenly transaction was failed. Transaction was failed. So, but as far as this one, uh, account B, 500 has been so added to the account B. But you could observe that 500 is not been detected from account A. So if this step, uh, transaction is gets failed, so let us consider after some amount of time, let me say after some amount of time, consistent state will be taken by the transaction A, so which is also 5000, which is not correct, which is not correct. This is inconsistent state because from account A, so amount has been detected and from, to the account B, it has been added. 
after deduction and adding of this account we are expected that uh, here it is 4500 as the the value after uh, execution successful execution of uh, transaction a and after successful execution of transaction b the amount must be 3500 here it is okay but here still we have 5000 still we have the 5000 this 4500 is not existed so this uh, state will be called as inconsistent state ics inconsistent state that state is called as inconsistent still you haven't update the you did not update the so account a which is called as inconsistent state so that is the meaning of uh, consistent state and inconsistent state okay so as far as this particular figure what we have to display here this particular figure is going to specify if a transaction will be begin transaction and end transaction within these two every statement will be executed successfully including begin and end transactions so therefore consistent state will be gets existed as like as a, uh, at a bank account b if anything will be happen before before executing end transaction if anything will be happen such as power failures or uh, system will be gets crashed at the client uh, such kind of operations will be gets happen then uh, it could be leads and inconsistent uh, inconsistent uh, state okay so if uh, power power will be failure at this place for example then it will be lead in consistent uh, state which will be leads to inconsistent states okay so that is the point which we need to understand Okay, that is the point which we have to understand. Oh, so that is called as consistent state and inconsistent state. So before going to take this consistent inconsistent state, we need to understand that every transaction must be written with the begin transaction and uh, so set of legal statements which are used to perform some transaction and at the end you need to write end transaction at the end you need to write end transaction okay so now some information regarding to transaction here so if a transaction will be taken it is a set of uh, instructions which could be executed sometimes it may be change the change the database state or sometimes it may not if you are trying to select the data on the display for example let me give you the example for this one you just go to atm and you just put your atm card into the atm mouth and you have to check out uh, your, uh, your uh, balance, how much balance is there with my account. You have to just check out the particular balance. Does it happen any so changes in the balance? No, it could not. 5,000 balance will be there. It could be displayed to you, 5,000, that's all. You just uh, take off your uh, ATM card and you just go away. Then what does it mean? So there is no change in uh, so database state. Okay? If maybe, maybe change in the sense, yes, you, you just go to the ATM machine, and have to withdraw some 500 rupees from your account. Then balance will be gets changed. Database state will be gets changed. Previously it is 5000. Now if you withdraw some money from the ATM from your account, then the state will be 5000 to 4500 will be the so state of change. That could be gets happen. Sometimes it may or uh, sometimes it may not. Okay. Transaction must be always executed as a single unit. If it is not a single unit, some uh, one transaction, let us consider transaction T1, does have some 20 instructions within that particular transaction T1. Transaction T2, which does have some 40 instructions, for example, let us consider it in such a way. So in transaction T1, after execution of five statements, or five instructions, it is interleaved by transaction T2. Here it is uh, 20 statements and interleaved by transaction T2. 
after 15 instructions it is interleaved by this one it could be gets happen for example it could be gets happen two transactions are interleavedly uh, uh, executed in a pattern then uh, sometimes the so inconsistent state will be leaks so we will study each and everything in future we will study probably tomorrow's class we will study everything okay so it must be always executed so transaction t1 what does it means transaction t1 of 20 instructions after completion of this whole 20 instructions then followed by transaction t2 of 40 instructions this is one kind of execution as a single unit otherwise if you are not interested for this one so transaction t2 of 20 40 unit, 40 instructions followed by so transaction T1 so of 20 instructions. So after execution of a transaction T2 completely, then we'll go for transaction T1 completely. So this is what about a single unit. Okay, that is called as a single unit. Now, if a transaction could not able to update anything on the on the database, so then such kind of transactions are called as a, so read only transactions just before i have given some information that is uh, checking for uh, balance if you are checking for uh, uh, just to go to atm and uh, trying to check for only balance such kind of a transaction is called as read only transaction you just to take the data receive the retrieve the data from uh, database and you did not perform any kind of operation then such kind of uh, transactions are called as uh, read only transaction Okay, if you consider, so checking uh, a balance of your account will be called as a read only transaction. If you book ticket through IRCTC, Indian Railways uh, uh, website, you are always trying to check about uh, your status. Okay, whether my seat is allocated in the uh, so called sleeper class or not. So that is also a read only transaction. That is also a read only transaction. And if you are trying to take another, so flight tickets will be taken by you, whether uh, they can be allotted to you or not, you may be check out uh, that particular thing. That's also considered as uh, so read only transaction. So read only transactions in the sense, they could not perform any operation. They could not perform any operation. Then a successful, a successful transaction, a successful transaction, can change the database state from one consistent state to another. Already we have seen one consistent state to another consistent state. So previously, just before we have discussed at account B, so previously that is 3000, after successful execution of entire transaction, it must be changed to 3500. So before uh, starting the transaction 3000, after uh, so transaction it must be 3500 that is our expectation yes expectation is still there so that way, one consistent state to another consistent state will be taken on successful execution of uh, one particular transaction then uh, dbms sir uh, whatever the transaction which could be taken they will be always follow these rules atomic consistent isolated and durable acid acid these are called as acid acid properties of one particular transaction okay these are acid properties it must be followed by all transactions within database management system so if any if, if there is any inconsistent state before the transaction it would be it remains same as it is inconsistent transaction. There's no change at all. Before going to start, uh, so the uh, operation, the operation, then it could be considered as inconsistent uh, transaction that would be continued by after successful execution of transaction. Also. Look at this. Uh, I'd like to give the explanation of the same. So in future, I'd like to give you, uh, by, by, by using Oracle, I'd like to explain you each and everything. Okay, don't worry about uh, this particular point. So it could be explained to you. So by taking the example of, uh, so, so Oracle. Okay. These are the uh, different, different aspects which you have to remember while transactions are going to be taken into consideration. 
that states of transaction a transaction must be in active state just wait for a while i'll take the attack your attendance because the time is approaching Taking the appurtenances gets over. Okay, so how many how many states of a particular transaction could have? As like as our process in operating systems, so you may be study so process states. So new state, running state, terminated state, about state, something like that. Here also some states are there. So a transaction must be entered for its execution. Then it is called as active. means a transaction will be get starts with the begin transaction then the transaction will be under so active state and the partially committed so 50% or 20% or 30% of a transaction has been completed then that is called as a partially completed state it is not fully completed it is partially completed state then committed after completion of each and every instruction in between begin and end transaction statements so the transaction will be termed to the committed state everything will be gets executed successfully so that the one consistent state to another consistent state will be gets so acquired so that whatever the modifications or whatever the changes you have made everything will be recorded or stored into database or server permanently after complete statement will be there the failed already have told you just before a couple of uh, uh, minutes ago i have told you that uh, if any any uh, uh, disk failure will be there or system crash will be there or power failures will be there such kind of things will be there obviously your uh, your uh, transaction will be under failed state and the terminated after uh, committed state will be gets occurred and the transaction will be gets occurred obviously your terminated set will be taken okay everything will be successfully stored permanently onto the database so therefore your transaction will be so under terminated and uh, after termination could be happen the transaction cannot be restarted by itself it could not be restarted by itself it must be restarted when uh, user wants to i mean uh, the database uh, administrator wants to reinitiate the specific transaction okay these are the five states the how this could be gets organized active state and then active state will be taken for several number of times so active state in active state what could be happen here in the sense read the data and write the data reading in the sense select operation writing in the sense update operation okay reading in the sense selection so writing in the sense updation this two will be done and then uh, sometimes it will be goes to partially completed way sometimes it will be goes to so fail sometimes it may be goes to executed permanently so that uh, committed or terminated after committed it could be terminated look at this from active to it may be goes to so fail or from active to it may be goes to permanently sorry partially committed so after partially committed it may be goes to so committed state after committed it will be goes to so terminated otherwise after par partially committed it will be goes to fail so there are several chances after fail it will be goes to terminated okay in active state to partially committed state sometime after execution of some more statements from from partially committed to committed state after complete state will be there the data will be rewritten onto the database server completely then after writing everything then it will be goes to terminate it so that uh, so it is successfully gets executed otherwise since several number of uh, so failures will be gets occurred if a uh, uh, database uh, transaction is under active state 
So because of some failures, it will be goes to it will be goes to failed state. After failing, so then it will be goes to terminated. So that uh, so if a blue line will be taken, so execution will be taken in this arrow, then uh, your uh, transaction cannot be so committed. Away. Sometimes it is also possible. Sometimes it is also possible to have so active state to active state to partially committed. After execution of part partially committed, there is a possibility to take uh, so failed state and then goes to terminated state. So these are the possibilities. Three different kinds of possibilities are there while executing any kind of uh, transaction while uh, uh, a transaction will be gets initiated. So it could be at the begin transaction, it could be at end transaction, and so on and so forth. Commit will be gets operated partially committed to commit in the sense that everything will be written under the so thing and uh, any abort operation. So failures will be gets up uh, occurs, then it will be considered as abort. So here also partially committed, and the failures will be gets occurred, then it will be also cut as a thing, something like this. This is uh, the transaction state diagram. Let me eliminate the, all lines here, then you could understand very clearly. Okay, this is a transaction state diagram. Then move to. So, once uh, a transaction state execution, then it will be becomes active mode. Immediately, it will be becomes to active mode. When it is active, so several read operations and several write operations could be gets happen. Okay, we have to write some kind of data from the database and check the particular data which was read this before and what kind of operations you have uh, so performed, you can perform. Just before we have couple of uh, minutes ago, so we have discussed regarding to uh, transfer of 500 rupees from account A to account B. At account A, open the account and you have to detect the, I mean, Balance of uh, A account will be transferred to the so old balance and uh, direct the account which is called as a new balance. New balance will be written to account and then close the account. All these operations. Reading of uh, balance will be read operation. Updation of uh, balance will be called as write operation. So this could, those could be gets operated continuously. Once read write operations are completed, then uh, so the partially the step. Transaction will be considered as a partially completed state. Partially, of course, more specifically speaking, read is not supposed to done anything, but write will be always uh, taken into consideration. Then that is called as a partially completed state. The next, some recovery protocols will be gets in introduced to ensure that uh, system failure cannot be get accepted. Okay, we will discuss this one very clearly, very thoroughly in uh, database failures. Then uh, if any uh, failure will be gets occurred, then it will be goes to fail state. Okay. Then followed by your transaction will be aborted once failure will be gets occurred. Once failure will be gets occurred, your transaction will be gets aborted. Okay. The terminated in the sense, the terminated state uh, is referred so the state of uh, uh, the transaction will be leaving from the system. Everything will be gets executed or uh, nothing will be executed. So either of these two states, <coughs> your transaction will be gets leave from the system. 